Welcome to HubSpot, the podcast for busy marketers looking to get more leads and sales from HubSpot. Discover the latest from the world of content marketing and social media. Here are your hosts from the kingdom, San Johnson and Adam Steinhardt. Episode 38, under dispute, I 37. think it's 37. It's 37. Oh, it is 37. Yeah, you're not 38. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Hub and Spoke. We are kicking off today with a topic close to my heart. Adam, what have you titled today's episode? Uh, well, Zan, welcome. Welcome once again. And we're going to the science of hashtags. The science The science, and, and also the mentions, the at sign mention stuff. So yeah. this is a topic that, uh, you know, we've never talked about before. Mm. And so I'm really playing on your home territory here. Excellent. Yeah, I look forward to hearing what you have to say. all about you today. So... Allow me to ask you a couple of questions, is that okay? Yeah, so this is going to be exciting because the hashtag, sorry, I'm taking over now, but the hashtag and the at sign mention are starting to become a language that crosses over into many, many different platforms, Correct. not just social media. Yep, yep. Cool. So let's look at the history, perhaps a little bit of the hashtag, otherwise known as the pound key, back in the days <laughs> when you had to press the pound key or the hashtag to advance yourself through telephone answering services yes. yeah but twitter of course made it famous with the hashtag it certainly did so let's kick it off with twitter why would you use a hashtag and why is it so important with twitter well and this is going to apply for all of the all of the social media platforms yep. it's important for all platforms because it's the way that you get found yeah okay oh, yeah so say you're starting out with a brand new twitter account yep and you have three followers or your 21 that Twitter give you in, at the very beginning when you set up a new account. They give you 21 free at the start. Well, they give you um, like a selection criteria. Super you know, generous are you, of them. Are you interested in news, celebrity, home, cooking? So you go through Great. and you yep. choose yep. And, and you get your stock standard like news.com.au. Cool, got it. So it's quite overwhelming then to embark on the challenge of how do I find people to follow me or how do I get found? How do I put myself out there? How do you get to read anything? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So one of the biggest mistakes anyone could ever make is tweeting without a hashtag. So what I recommend before you even get to your social media platform is actually do some research about hashtags that are going to be relevant for your business. Yeah. Okay, so figure out whether or not you, you are playing in a niche market or a niche, as the uh, Americans like to call it. Niche. So what this means is actually going and doing some research. Check out your competitors. If you're, for example, a digital marketing agency, you might want to look at using hashtag marketing or hashtag content marketing. Or if you're a beauty brand, have a look at clear skin, hashtag clear skin. Research it. See what awesome. other people are using. Okay. And then get on board. So... Click on those hashtags when you see them, and what it's going to—it's it, like a—it's like the command F function. It enables you to go and find Fine. everybody. Love it. Okay, so that got trendy. It trended on. Trended on. On social media everywhere. world, <laughs> yeah. And so Facebook took on board. So do the hashtags work in the same way with Facebook? Yeah, they do. Yeah. But they're not as popular, are they? Well, it, <clears throat> it's not—it's not as popular. No, you're right. And and why aren't they as popular? Well. Each platform is really good at different things. Yeah, yeah. So Search in different ways. And this is one of the big rules about social media is there's nothing that I, I despise more than seeing someone who has their Facebook account linked to their Twitter account. Yeah, because it's, to it's a total just, different style. It's just it? lazy yeah, social exactly, media. Yeah. And okay? a lot of people think that's how it's going to work, but they're yeah. not going to engage with So the people on Facebook want to see very different stuff to the people on Twitter. Yeah. Twitter is sharp, it's fast, it's punchy, yeah. it's here and now. Yeah. Facebook is a little bit more um, long, long story, longer story. Well, it's hard to be in image. the moment too. I mean, when you have in the moment posts that come up five days later on someone's timeline, it doesn't quite work the same way, does exactly it? Exactly right. And you know, Facebook have geared it to be that way. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the purpose of a hashtag and still to be able to search on a topic? And, yes, and exactly. Sort of, yeah. But it's not going to give you the same results that um, Twitter will do. Yeah. And the reason for that is because the hashtag is not as widely adopted on Facebook okay, yeah. as it is on it's very Twitter. Much, yeah, totally. Okay. Now, if we're talking Instagram, yeah, let's talk Instagram. different story yeah. again. It's, it's completely hashtag. Completely hashtag focused. Hashtags, yeah. To the uh, hashtag to the wazoo. I mean, there are there are some almost hashtag etiquette uh, rules to be followed on Ooh, Instagram as well. What are they? Because well. you know that I'm, obviously my 15 posts have just been... Mm. Brilliant for two years now. Yeah, it's awkward. Um, <laughs> so the hashtag on on Instagram is essentially 
how you find people really okay. it, it yeah. really is the, yeah. the key um and what's what works really well on so hashtag beauty for example is effectively pulling together the entire community of correct beauty, isn't it? Yeah. correct yep and community is a wonderful word to use for instagram okay. because it's yep. a really really blog blogger vlogger focused community okay cool so lots of um lots of visual uh bloggers use it as a visual tool so that yep. they flat lays and you know all the cool so products in well, it's, it's effectively you've got a photograph to and that's your headline so you've got to be awesome yeah yeah and there's no there's no limit to what you can hashtag there are limits of how many hashtags you can have yeah and having too many hashtags in a post can kind of look a little bit desperate and yeah silly yeah um but the hashtag is king in Instagram. Okay, cool. And so LinkedIn. 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 Talk, talk about, tell us about LinkedIn. How does yeah, that LinkedIn. Work? They work as well on LinkedIn. Hashtags and outsigns. Hashtags. Yeah. Um, new, new again. They worked, then they stopped working, and now they're back. Okay, yeah. But again, not as prevalent. Right. Yeah. LinkedIn's feed is a strange one. Yeah. It defaults to showing you the most popular feed. So you have to go to oh, that right. tricky little three. So not the most recent? No. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. have to go to that tricky little three dot, dot, dot up the top. The hamburger which is, menu? No. Something different. Something different. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, it's hidden. You barely know it's there. Um, I've actually written a blog about this on the Zanzibar blog, so Ooh, by all means, check, check it out. It now I have to go and find we'll it for the show notes. Show notes. Great. Um, but that little three dot uh, microscopic button mm, mm. will actually allow you to see um, current feed as opposed Great. to most popular. Okay. So hashtags. I mean, if I was if I was uh, doing a LinkedIn post, would I put a hashtag? Yeah, but it's not going to break the bank if I don't. Okay, great. And so Pinterest, does Pinterest, that have hashtags? You can do use hashtags in Pinterest, right. but they're not necessary. Okay. Because when you search for something, Pinterest in, in itself is, is uh, imagine like Google. Yeah. You have a search function. So you very rarely... Um, do anything in Pinterest without actually doing a okay. search. It's a visual search. Basically. It's a visual yeah. search. It is yeah. very good at that too. So you can scroll through your feed by all means, yeah. but generally speaking, you go to Pinterest to solve a problem. Okay. Show me unicorn birthday cakes. So you type right. in unicorn birthday cake. You've got a birthday coming up. So is a unicorn? You, you can give me have... a secret there if you're doing. Well, I have. <laughs> I did that for the uh, the last birthday we had. So the search function at the top, yes, hashtags will work. Yeah. You can click on them, but you, it's not, not necessary. There. Okay, brilliant stuff. And they won't actually find a hashtag in a post. Google Plus. Yeah, what's well, what about talk about Google Plus? I mean, that's been roaring up the charts in terms of clicks more recently. So how's the hashtags yep. working there? In, in exactly the same, same way, way as Facebook, yep. they work. So um, if in doubt, hashtag, hashtag it out. Fantastic. Okay, that's great news. And of course, Zahn, now the at sign too, we've discovered is becoming more powerful. In fact, it's one of the massive features that one of our customers loves about the HubSpot free CRM is the ability to involve other people in conversations very easily using that at yeah. sign. So uh, we've seen that having evolved from social so media now pushing into the world. Let's drill down on that a little bit more. What does that actually mean? Well, it's really good because in the free CRM, you're able to actually write up a task or you can record information about who was at a meeting. So mm. let's say, for example, I was at a meeting with you. I could at sign you to include you on the meeting notes. So it's actually going to send you an email notification and say, right, you've been in on this. And of course, you can delegate tasks saying, uh, if someone's going to go and do the minutes, you yeah. can say, at sign, please go and do the minutes. So yeah. it allows a very involved way of working for the organisation, which is great. Yeah, they're very handy. Definitely, if, you, if you've got HubSpot and you're on the CRM, definitely start integrating the at signs to push, push information around your organisation. Brilliant for big sales teams too. Absolutely, and of course, once again, another feature that Excel simply does not have. Yeah, and if you've got, you know, think of, you, think of a sales manager scenario where you've got leads coming in and you have to pump them out to the salespeople. Yeah. And you want to keep Please it on Please follow this person up. Absolutely, yeah. good point. Yeah, really no, good. it's a really good idea. Excellent. All right, so hashtags, at signs, ruling the world. They've created a whole new uh, dictionary usage, urban myth. Uh, urban dictionary? Urban dictionary, that's what it was. <laughs> Gold. Excellent. All right, what's Very next? good. Cool. So moving on, let's talk about our loves. Oh. What are you loving this week in the in the world of inbound? Oh, you make me go spot, first all the time. Marketing. I'm not ready for my love. No, you go I'm first. not either. You go. <laughs> I don't have a love this week. Once again, which... our preparation has been outstanding. <laughs> well, no, I, I will dispute that because I've actually got Oh, no, I've got one. I've got one. Oh, got great. One. The Academy has improved its access to training. Uh, on the basic core principles. So it's now very easy to see the core, the various different trainings 
on the different modules of HubSpot. So you can go there and it's got a page that says straight up call to action training or blogging training, video related, saw it there by accident this morning. It is Brilliant. actually pretty cool, much easier to get to the point. Have they made those videos downloadable yet? Mm, yeah, it's not sure. So annoying. Good point. I want to be able to watch them as soccer training. <laughs> not while I'm training, while the kids are training. Soccer mum training. Soccer mum. Yeah. Awesome. So my girl boss, now this is really deep diving well, this into is, the No, tool. it's what you're loving. Girl boss is what you're changing. Yeah, I don't have a love. Okay. I'm still thinking. Okay. I'll go back. Let's to go it. straight to girl boss then. Yeah. Right yeah. So my girl boss is a micro microcosm Ooh. inside the tool. Uh -huh. I'm going to take you to lead scoring, which as we know is a really important part of the tool. Yeah. Well, when my baby goes to Rio, she takes me to lead scoring as well. Okay. That's unusual. <laughs> um, so pitch yourself. You're on the lead scoring page. You want to add a criteria. Yes. You want to add some points. Oh, yeah, I see where you're going here. Yeah. You click the add button. Yeah. It's so annoying. Where's it gone? The bottom. Where is it? Right down the bottom. Scrolly, scrolly, scroll, scroll. It should be where you are. I want it going Insert at the top. It. Then you've got to drag it all the way out the top. This is a really good idea. Because yeah. then I think it hasn't happened. Well, it should be where you've got your cursor. So I push it again. Yeah. And then I push it again. <laughs> and then I scroll down and there's four blank things waiting for me. I know. And I've got to delete them. And then you've got to drag them all the way back up. Why do you drag them all the back up? Because you've got to... Good point. You don't, I'm thinking of something else. You don't have to, do you? Yeah, no, but if you wanted to group them, you would. Yeah. And grouping is a better way to get organised too. So, for example, yes. if you have 10 ebooks and they get points for the ebooks, then you want to be able to actually have them in one group. In fact, that makes let's take sense. this baby one step further and say, let's get folders in lead scoring. Great idea. And then the folders could have a little turny arrow yeah. and drop down like yeah. they're doing old windows Brilliant. and away you go. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. We just solved the world then. Excellent. That's Brilliant. a really good idea, actually. HubSpot, I hope you're listening. <laughs> so I guess that could be my love as well because Great. Yep, like what, I'm, what I am loving mm. is that lead scoring has really added another step to our content content creation process. Yep. So making sure that we're factoring in all the all the new cool bits and pieces that we put out into the portals and making sure that the lead scoring is actioned for that piece. Worth factoring. Factor, factor. Okay. All right, what about you, girl boss? Well, um, Hashtag girl, girl boss, boss. I would like to see, I, like, I think we're all discovering that instant messaging, Slack, Skype, iMessages, yeah. uh, ruling yep. the world. Yep. Uh, and we use it all the time now in business, live chat, those sorts of things. So I would like to see, at the moment we've got in the HubSpot CRM the ability to do emails, we can do meetings, we can do phone calls, and they're fabulous. Mm. I'd like to have a little integration into chat programs. So you can type an SMS directly out to Skype or type the chat message out to iMessage. Don't know how they'd make it. It's not my problem. It's the programming department's hey, problem. Hey, that's not what Girl Boss is all about, Exactly, mate. but I think it'd be great to be able to actually type that information and go out via those channels yep. and then be recorded in the HubSpot timeline. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Mm, mm. Be nice to be able to utilise that from a marketing perspective as well. Oh la la! Because we're seeing now this um, push to inboxes with Messenger. Yeah. Shopify will yep. talk to Messenger yep. and yep. give people updates on where their orders are. In fact, they could just you know their first starting point is Messenger. Yeah. Integrate with Messenger and, and yeah. actually click, click to Messenger. That'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be awesome to be able to do that. From or the even I mean, I know how Apple, how flexible Apple is with the world. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, Adam. Episode thirty-seven. What is your favourite tool for the week? Oh, my favourite tool for the week. Fabulous. Luckily, I have one. Yeah. So, so um, here, I've got one. Oh, I've got one. You do. I have a good idea. You were not, stalling. Not a tool, but a good idea. A good idea. One of the things that's really important these days, I've noticed, is that the need to know your hex web code of your colours is very important. Wow. So hex, this is going to be a bit of, bit of help here. So RGB, mm. red, green, green blue, blue, which is what the web is all about. The hexadecimal codes for the color palette are stored in two different characters per channel. Okay, So it's effectively a six-digit code that represents your color. Mm -hmm. And so brands, to keep it consistent, all these different programs these days, like, for example, the HubSpot email tool, mm. and then you go to Canva mm -hmm. to make sure your brand's correct, and yep. then you, you see it everywhere, okay? Yep. Drift, drifter, Drift. we had the, you know, you've got to have the right livery. So you record that six-digit number, that six-digit number. It'll have some letters in it too because it's hexadecimal, which means it's working on 16 characters. Do you know what all that that's on? They go zero to nine and A, B, C, D, E, F to get 16. Got it. Yep. Uh, base 16, they call that. Okay. So, uh, Today's not wasted. No, go ahead and uh, record it and save it because you need it a lot. 
You do need, you need a, lot. a lot. Put it into your notes or your Evernote or whatever it might be. You need those colours a lot. And if you get them, and it's the best way to keep it consistent. So that's my little tool tip. Oh, that's a very fun one. Hmm. So that's what, when you use your colour picker, your Chrome Correct. extension, yep. that little number there. Yeah, that could be your tool of the day. Excellent. The colour picker, exactly. So that, that number is powerful. Very good. Well, that's not my tool of the day. My tool of the day is a big shout out to the people at the Marketing School podcast. Ooh. Neil Patel and Eric. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah, those guys. Every day, yeah. gold, gold, yeah. gold, gold. Yeah. Just brilliant. They deserve. Really... They have a million listeners, and they deserve it. They are oh, the, the best podcast on the internet. I challenge anyone not to learn something from each podcast they do. Incredible. How do they? They know so much. Yeah, ten to fifteen minutes. Brilliant for in the car. Yeah. Just. Um, yeah, big and shout out. They... So I know that Neil Patel and Eric are big listeners of our show, <laughs> no oh, doubt. They could be. Next they time we see now. them, we'll say hi. We'll yeah, definitely say definitely. hi. Yeah, I've done really so there you go. That's my tool of the world on the podcast. Yeah, yep. great, very great, good. Great, great. Awesome. So that is episode 37 or not if 38. you prefer 38. Let's not do you. 38 out yeah, of protest. We'll, just... we'll go straight to 39 next week. And yeah, we'll, we'll show them. And next week, so I'll be, I've, I'm back in Australia, not travelling, so two episodes next week, back on schedule. I've Sorry got a for better idea with the numbers. Mm. Let's go to hexadecimal. Brilliant. We're going to do <laughs> AF next week. <laughs> Very like good. It. Thank you for tuning in. programming guys will love it. George oh, yeah, B will love it. Awesome. Perfect. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of The Hub and Spoke. Of course, you can follow us on Twitter at at sign with hashtags hub underscore n underscore spoke be sure to check out hashtag podcast too if mm. you're on Twitter that's, that's where a it good is. way yep. of going out and seeking some new hashtags and that's a really good little um, practical tip it is, on today's it? Your session homework. it is yeah, yeah. cool great work um, and if you're a Twitter a Twitter user, we would love you to mention us, and we can yeah, um, send us jump back on and, and follow tweet. you back. That'd be awesome. And we'll get some get some traffic trending. Trending. Yeah, it's all about trending. Excellent, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye. For all the new shows, check out www.thekingdom.com.au forward slash hub and space. You have been listening to Adam Steinhardt and Zahn Johnson of The Kingdom, an inbound marketing agency from Adelaide, South Australia. HubSpot Platinum Partners and the International HubSpot Partner of the Year 2015.